Hi Kerry fans, so today we're going to be checking out another rare pickup. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kerry fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate stuff that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So today we're doing a bit of another pickup. <laughs> it seems to be the week for pickups for me. Um, again, before we start, we're literally about 40 subscribers away from that thousand subscriber mark. So if we get that question up released this weekend, that would be absolutely awesome. So again, if you're not subscribed and you want a chance to enter that competition, make sure you slap the subscribe button and ding that bell for notifications so you get notified when that actual video goes up. So what we'll do is you jump straight into today. What I've done is I've got another pickup and it's another rare boxing. So I'm gonna unbox it and show you what we actually got. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Right, so to welcome back, what we've got is another pickup. And again, this one's absolutely mint. I think I've got a couple of bits missing, so you'll have to let me know. I'm gonna quickly zoom in. But what we've got, again, is a different package. We've got the Super Renovation Group. And as you'll notice on the top, I haven't seen this in years. This is called Skull. I used to sell this with a G3. It was absolutely awesome product. You could clean anything with it. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I think Kirby dropped it, and now they do the OxyClean, which I think is the equivalent of the Skull. I'm not too sure, but they. Oh, when I asked for Skull, they gave me Oxy. So. <laughs> Yeah, we'll run through what you actually got in the kit. So, and then we've got the Heritage Convenience Group, but with turbo power. So again, it's a totally different box set that you could get back in 1984. Again, I'm missing the pole. I don't know what people do with these poles. <laughs> that seems to be the main thing that I'm missing out of these sets. Um, so what we'll do is we'll quickly zoom in and see what you got. Right, so as you can see, I mean, the box is absolutely mint. Again, we came with Skull. I wasn't too sure where this actually went in the box. Um, it just came with it. Um, so it just gave me that separately. It had leaked out a bit and damaged one of the books. So we'll just quickly open this. Again, you've got a nice cardboard box. Just flip that open. And inside, you've got some amazing stuff. Now we've got, obviously, the shampoo brush system here. So I haven't took this out. It's that stiff. But yeah, that hasn't been used. So you've got the actual shampoo brush here. We've actually got a hose, so I'm presuming this is the hose I was missing out of the set. So you've got your Sudzo gun, you get your inflator, your end cap for your Sudzo gun. Actually, an, a full bottle of Kirby Suds, and never been opened, still sealed. Mad. So the shampoo system, has, I'd say, has never been used. Um, there's a bit of dust on here, but in that, you know, again, it's a small bottle. Uh, and then you've got your connection for your inflator and then we've got this bit here this comes out there you go whoop so it's got the original brush roll that looks like it's been used at some point or it's just dust but it's absolutely mint still got the original brush it's still got the original belt um, so put that back in there but it's amazing how you had metal back then and then obviously they changed it as they went to cast i mean because this is actual metal by the feel of it and then you've got a plastic base here uh, but what was in there was absolutely awesome there's the actual hose that was actually missing off the shampoo system so we've got one of those now even though it's split across two sets so we'll just put that back in there and what we'll do is we'll jump over and see what you actually got in the turbo convenience set Right, so this is the turbo convenience set. Um, there we go, so we've got an instruction book. So flip that open, there we go, congratulations. I'm becoming a new Kirby owner. Uh, with the proper care of cleaning of this system, you'll give you lifetime service. Um, and they wasn't lying back then, it's still running now, 36 years later, it's amazing. Um, so what you got in it was a pack of two bags, which we've got there. There's actually two in there. Now I did convert my Heritage 84 away from this because I wasn't sure whether I'd get any bags. I don't know how rare these are. Comment down below if you can still get these from Kirby. I haven't actually phoned Kirby to find out, but you can still get them in the States or the UK. Let me know if Kirby still do those bags. Otherwise, I'll just convert your Heritage to use the HEPA filtration bags. 
and I will put a link in the description to change it to that, that F-style connector. And what else do we get? So open this, put that back there. We've got some home freshener. And again, that smells, yep, smells lemony. So it'd be lemony fresh. And you just sprinkle that. I'm assuming it's equivalent to the shake and back um, that they used to do in the UK back in the 70s and 80s. I always remember the advert, do the shake and back, can put the freshness back. Show me age now. Um, you had some sort of handle here. I'm assuming the Heritage 84 had a totally different handle. Um, from what I can see in here, if we flip it open, so we'll just flip that open and have a quick gander. It shows you what you get. So we get a turbo brush, we get the floor nozzle tool, we've got the duster brush, and the handle's totally different to what the Heritage 2 was. So I'm assuming that's like a metal handle. You've got the strap, the hose, the pole that we elusive pole that we're missing <laughs> what people do them i don't know uh, but all this i mean it's a nice book it's all black and white it wasn't cheaply printed by the looks of it back then kirby was still spending the money on the printing um, and having you know a decent book with the actual photos not drawings and then on the heritage 2 i think they flipped it to the drawings and then obviously they've gone back to photos again so it's quite surprising how these books have actually changed over the years um, your warranty sign of the kirby quality you know, it's amazing and there's all the different demonstrations of so you have the super renovation group you've got the handy butler so that would be a good thing i really want to get a handy butler um i know there's a lot of few people on the kirby enthusiast facebook page that have actually got this system um i know you could have a jigsaw with it um, and a buffer, there's, there's loads of stuff you could actually do with that handy butler. And I think Kirby should bring it back. And then this is obviously the home turbo group, which is the one we've got here. And then those were all the products that you could actually get from Kirby. Uh, so we'll just have a quick gander. So again, we've got a turbo brush. Again, unused, brand new. I don't know what people bought, bought them if they didn't use them. Then you've got your accessory there that went onto your floor attachment, which give it a swivel part. After that, they changed it on the G3, so it was all one complete system. I don't know what that is. If you know what that is, let me know. <laughs> um, so there, so that, goes that way, that goes back in there, like so. And we've got the uh, odorific. So this was like a scent you could actually put in your bag. Um, I think it was obviously before you could buy those little drop-in tea bag things that smelt. Um, you can actually get those from Kirby Steel. And I think you used to be able to get those from Sainsbury's and, and places like that in the UK. I remember, I remember buying them. Uh, but I mean, this was meant to be just one little droplet in your bag and it would stop you smelling for months. Uh, you've got your wall and ceiling brush. And if that, that's what they called it back then, but that's what that roughly is. You've got the duster brush with a spare belt. Um, you've got your floor tool. You've got, oh, the strap for hanging around when you vacuum your stairs. I think this is an awesome attachment. And I don't know why Kirby didn't carry this on to the Avalia. So if you are vacuuming stairs, you can carry it across your shoulder and it just made it a lot easier to carry. Um, and then there's our curved attachment. So again, we're missing that, that elusive pole. Someone out there must have about 50 of these poles. I don't know where they are. Let me know if you're one of them. <laughs> but, um, and then we've got our crevice tool. And it says they're disposable bags, but there's actually nothing in there. I presume, I don't know how they'd fit in there. But that is another amazing pickup, amazing set. And that's what you'd have with the Heritage 84. So you had plenty of options back in 1984 of what you could actually get with your Kirby. So again, this was another option you could have with the Heritage 84. Comment down below if you know of any more sets that are actually out there. Um, I mean, this is the third different type of set that I've actually picked up. So it's quite surprising the options you had back in 1984 to use with your Heritage 84. There was quite a variety across the board and different sets. You had the one, obviously this one just came with the turbo tool, which is the turbo brush. And then you had the previous set that I showed in the previous video where you got the sander, you got the pear groomer, which was no good for me. Uh, and you know, you got your nice colored book and even that, that, to smell that now, after, after 30 years, is amazing. I mean, I used to sell this with a G3, 
Um, so to find that in a, a box like this, a bo bottle of scuttle, was absolutely amazing. We've got some great memories of my demonstrating the G3s. Um, and again, Kirby don't do it anymore. Apparently, it's oxy. Right, so coming up, we've got another pickup. No more unboxings as such. This was probably, and I would say, the worst Kirby, and believe me, it was the worst Kirby I've ever picked up. The lady has subscribed, so I want to big, give her a big thank you for letting me get that Kirby off her. Um, and we'll see whether we can actually turn this Kirby around. It's in a really bad state, as you'll see in the following video. So again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that, ding that bell, um, so you don't miss that upcoming episode. So we'll come in, we've got plenty of sand tests, we've got some more five day challenges. I'm not looking forward to that. Again, you'd be quite surprised what I've got and what's coming up in that five day challenge. Um, I've got some more vacuums coming, uh, comparing against the Kirby. So we're gonna see what pain I'll go through actually using those. I know a lot of people out there liked the, the five day challenge. So if you did, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you give the five day ch challenge a thumbs up and put your comments down below of what you'd like to see on this upcoming and growing channel. So again, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Just a bit of history again, what Kirby actually delivered back in 1984 and what you can still find out there is quite surprising and it's in unused condition. Well, as you can see, there's quite a few sets out there that you can actually buy for the Heritage 84. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content and you want a chance to enter that competition, it's still running, there's only one more question to go and that will be going up as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers. So again, make sure that if you want to enter that competition that you are subscribed and your subscriptions are open and you ding that bell so you get notified as soon as that question gets released. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for all the support. It's much, much appreciated. This is gonna be the biggest Kirby channel on YouTube. We get in there. I've even got people from Brazil messaging me, asking me for information on how to repair things, and I'm sharing videos with those as well. So I'd like to thank everyone from for Brazil, from Europe, from the States, and, and the UK. Um, even though there's only 3% here. Yeah. <laughs> Try and share the channel, get some more UK people joining the group. Um, so again, before I go, I'll quickly say, those of you new to the channel, if you haven't already and you are getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button to support the channel. It's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is quit to the bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, um, um. Hi Kirby Cans! Yeah. This channel is going to be the biggest channel going for Kirk. So again, before we go, I'll quickly say, those of you new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content and you haven't already, and you want a chance to enter that competition out of 1,000 subscribers, we're getting pretty close, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button to show support for the channel, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video.